Once you've added joints to rotating parts, you need to define limits so your robot's manipulators have realistic range of motion in the simulator. However, make sure there are no limits on your robot's wheel joints, or it will not drive properly in the simulator. To define a manipulator's limits, you need to edit the joint that you have created for said manipulator. To do this, right-click the manipulator and select Show Relationships. Then, right-click the joint and select Edit. Go into the Limits tab within the Joint menu and select Start for Angular Limits. You can change the units by clicking on the arrow to the right of each input field. To edit your range of motion, change your Start and End values until you are satisfied with the displayed range of motion. To test this range of motion, press OK in the main menu and try dragging the manipulator in the main window. Repeat this step for all manipulators requiring rotational limits.